So, Bethan, answer me this. Moped or car? Funny you ask that, actually, because I'm actually currently got a bit of that dilemma going on in my life. I'm thinking moped, because I can get around Brighton really quickly, but True. car, because I can get back to North Wales without taking about 10 days. OK, so what if you could have one vehicle that had all the advantages of a moped and the advantages of a car? Is this the next invention? That's, I'm quite excited about this. It would be really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. But unfortunately, it doesn't exist. OK. And it's a rather flimsy pretext for me to talk about the Tegra 3 processor that is in the new ASUS Transformer Prime and the Transformer Pad 300. The previous generation Transformers had a uh, Tegra 2 processor okay, inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Tegra 3 that's just come out with it by NVIDIA, um, it, it's a whole new, whole new generation and it's using what they're calling a, a 4 plus 1 technology. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's got five individual um, cores in, in, inside, the, inside the processor unit. Okay. Um, the reason I draw the, the analogy with the mopeds and the cars the and, and waving hands <laughs> is it's got a battery saver core. Okay, this runs at a lower frequency than all the other cores. Okay. And, and this is like your moped. So mm. it's powerful enough that it'll do, you know, a low speed, but you can nip around town. And it's probably fast enough for reading your email and sending text messages, that kind of stuff. If you wanted to start doing something more complicated, like, um, you know, going to a web browser, then it basically switches on one of these fast cores. So it's like you're, it's like you're, you're driving away in your, in your moped and bam, you're in a car. Wow. Okay? Then, for instance, so you're on your A road at that point and you, you, know, you know, maybe you're stuck okay. behind somebody going 40, 50 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So a bit faster, but you want to go faster still. And at that point, it says, okay, do you know what? We're going to switch on the second core. Yeah. So core number two switches on, right? You're going to go even faster. Then you go, you know what? Driving license, throw it out the window. Don't care anymore. You're in a Formula One car. Okay, you're going to go 120 miles an hour down the road. Oh. You don't care about the points. <laughs> Sweet. You want to get there as quickly as you can. And this is the point where all four cores are switched on and you're going at the maximum speed that you could possibly go at. Okay. So the, the GPU has also been improved. So the previous generation Tegra 2 had um, four pixel shaders and four um, vertex shaders. You don't need to know what that means. The new, the new Tegra 3 has, has doubled the number of pixel shaders. In theory, that doubles the performance, and in practice, it pretty much does as well. You know how you've got HDMI output mm -hmm. on the Transformer, so you can plug it into your plasma screen. Some of the games that are coming out are really impressive. If you had told me that I was actually playing on an Xbox, I would not I would have believed you, because the, it really looked impressive. Really? Yeah, it, was, it was really visually very exciting, and performance was definitely there. That's, that's so, surprising. So those are the main two things that have changed between going from Tegra 2 to Tegra 3. You've just made Tegra 3 sound so sexy. <laughs> Do you know what? I think actually sexy is a, a really good word because yeah. this is the Transformer Pad 300, but I think it does look sexy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. with like the concentric circles and the well, back hello. and the curves. <laughs> it is sexy. It, am, I, am I wrong? Well, thank you very much, Spode, for your great analogy and then your incredible description of Tegra 3. If you would like any more brilliant analogies or explanations by Spode or myself, then please subscribe on YouTube or iTunes. And of course, we have got our lovely forum up and running. Maybe you can think of a slightly better analogy than cars. Absolutely. So until we see you next time, it's goodbye from us. And it's goodbye from her. There's no water in these fake mugs. I put water in mine. Oh, did you? Yeah, sorry. One cup in, is it? <laughs> 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 oh.